Welcome back to another video on the Football Zone and to a weekend preview. Previewing Premier League Championship and FA Cup action. Starting off in the Premier League with Leicester versus Leeds. And this is an interesting one because obviously Leicester, they looked a lot better in their victory over Burnley in the week. Um, and yeah, um, Leeds, um, new manager of course in Jesse March. So it's a game that she really could feel go either way. But I just feel like Leicester will get such a momentum boost from having the likes of Vardy back. And um, Leeds could struggle without the else. It could be take a bit of a transition. So yeah, I'm going to say 1 0 to Leicester here. Moving on then to Villa versus Southampton at. Um, Villa Park and yeah Villa of course got back to winning ways last time out against Brighton after a bit of a barren spell um, against the Southampton team they're absolutely flying at the moment three wins in a row four wins from the last five um, yeah just going like the clappers basically um, so yeah it's a big game for both teams Southampton you never know they can still be in European contention um, but yeah I feel like this one um, could be a draw to be honest I think Villa will be in better after that um, win last time out moving on then to Burnley versus Chelsea at um, at Telfmore and yeah Burnley um, the 2 0 loss to Leicester I mean like, they're still much improved at the moment um, but you know one point from the last two do need to start picking up again but you know against the Chelsea side um, it will be tough but obviously you know with all the uncertainty going on around Chelsea at the moment with the whole ownership situation etc etc um now could be the opportune time to play them, so we'll see which way it pans out. But I feel like a Chelsea victory here, um, but you never know, it could be a good time to play them, really. Moving on then to Newcastle, uh, who hosts Brighton at um, St James's Park. Newcastle obviously on a really, really great run of form at the moment, and, you know, really starting to ease away from the relegation zone now. I don't think there will be any worries for them now between the end of the season. Um, and, yeah, against the Brighton side, who have lost three games in a row and aren't on a good run of form at all, really. Um, so this is a big game for Newcastle to start to get close to them. Um, and I think they will get the win here. It's just two teams having completely different um, contrasting fortunes at the moment. And, yeah, I can only see it going in Newcastle's favour. Moving on then to Norwich, and they host Brentford um, in a big game at the bottom of the table. Uh, Norwich, in all comps, They've lost four in a row now. It started to look tough for them, uh, really, to survive. And Brentford on a shocking round of form as well. They do need to start picking up the pace because they're getting right, really sucked into it now as well. Um, three points ahead of Burnley with two games in hand. All the teams around them seem to have games in hand. Um, so, you know, they do need to start picking up. But for Norwich, it's a must not lose as well to have any chance. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to say a draw. I think it will be 1-1. It's a game that could go either way, though. Um, moving on then to Wolves Crystal Palace at St. Molyneux. And Wolves, um, yeah, they'll come into this one um, off the back of two defeats in a row, which is obviously frustrating. But, you know, they have been competing very tightly in games against Arsenal, West Ham away, two really, really tough games. Um, so, you know, I don't think they'll come into this one low on confidence at all. Against the Palace side, who are on a decent run of form at the moment, just got into the course finals of the Cup. So, you know, they'll be coming into this one full of confidence. But I do fancy Wolves with this one. I think those two games were just a bit more than anything. Moving on then to Anfield, where Liverpool hosts West Ham at um, Anfield, I think I already said that. But anyway, um, um, yeah, Liverpool, um, obviously, Carrow Cup champions, one knee in their FA Cup game. Thrash leads uh, in the last Premier League game, so you know they're on a brilliant run and form at the moment, and still firmly in the title race. With City, in my opinion, not playing too well against the West Ham side, who yeah, um, they're still in the top four race. Obviously knocked out last time out against Southampton, which was disappointing. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're running close here, but I don't think that'll be have enough to beat uh, Liverpool. I'll say one 0 Moving on then um, to Sunday's games, and we're going to start off at Vicarage Road where Watford host Arsenal, and yeah, Watford. Um, they come into this one um, on the back of a solid point away at Manchester United. It has to be said, really, really good performance. Uh, uh, but Arsenal, you know, three wins in a row, four run beaten. They're looking really, really strong uh, for a top four place. And yeah, it, it will be a tough game for Roy Hodgson's men this one. You do really feel like that. I feel like Arsenal should have easily have enough quality to finish them off. I'll say 2 0. Moving on then to Manchester City versus Manchester United at the Etihad. And yeah, you certainly say this is a game. Um, which City have to win, really, because Liverpool are breathing down their neck at a rapid rate. And, yeah, in my opinion, they are playing a lot better than them, like I said earlier. So this is a game which they have to win. But also, United, they can't slip up because, you know, their top four position is so precarious at the moment. They just can't afford any more slip-ups, really, to have a chance of beating Arsenal at the moment. And so, yeah, I'm going to say 2-0 um, to Manchester City here. Um, but, you know, a game that both teams need to win. Moving on then to the Monday night football, and that is Tottenham against Everton. And, yeah, the pressure is only growing on Antonio Conte, kind of caused by his own comments, really. Um, 
in relation to his job security, etc, etc. And then you've got Everton, who obviously were robbed last weekend against Manchester City. That's the only way to describe it, really. And they're kind of desperate for revenge, still firmly in a relegation right, battle. Uh, you know, still far from out of that yet. Um, so, yeah, I think Spurs will get the win. But, you know, Everton will come out firing here, so it could go either way. I'll say 1-0. Moving on to then to... Um, the championship and we've got two games on Friday because um, two teams of the championship playing each other on Monday in the FA Cup very bizarre and very well Huddersfield versus Peterborough and speaking of the FA Cup Peterborough you know they gave a good account of themselves against Manchester City weren't battered or hammered or anything like that perfectly decent performance um, but you know Huddersfield three wins on the trot got absolutely flying at the moment really cementing a place in the playoff positions at the moment and you know, I can see that continuing here I think 2-0 Huddersfield they just got far too much quality for Peterborough moving on then to a game I'm really looking forward to at Bramwell Lane as Sheffield United host Knott's Forest um, and yes Sheffield United won or lost to Millwall last time out but you know before that really good form I think that's just a blip really and then you've got um, Forest also on a really good run of form so yeah it's a game which is really fascinating and has major implications for the playoff race um, with both teams really chasing those down now um, so yeah it's a game that could go either way I feel like Blades at home 1-0 Forest have got to concentrate on the cap as well so yeah I'll say 1-0 Next up is the top of the table clash as Fulham take on Blackburn and yeah, Fulham obviously they're well on their way to promotion now. Um really um yeah, just cruising the league at the moment and um, don't really see any issues for going with the quality of the squad they have and got a comfortable margin over Huddersfield, two games in hand, so yeah. Um, but it's about Blackburn, obviously a huge win last time out against QPR, and putting themselves in a good position to stay in the playoff spots. Um, but yeah, this will be a tough one, maybe a bit of a free hit for them. I'm going to say 2-0 to Fulham, though. I think they've just got a bit more. Moving on then to Bristol City against um, Birmingham, and yeah, two mid-table sides. Um, Bristol City, they've lost their last two in a row. They were relatively tough games, so... Birmingham, they've lost their last two games in a row. So, yeah, you really could say it's a bit of an opportunity for both teams, um, you know, just to get out of their right. I don't think any of them will be too affected by relegation zone. Bristol City definitely won't be. Birmingham definitely won't be. Uh, just looking at the table now. So, yeah, it's a game where both teams can play out with freedom. But I just feel like the home team, maybe a bit more quality, will get the win here. I'm going to say 1 0. Moving on then to two teams that are definitely affected by the relegation picture Derby and Barnsley. Um, and obviously, Derby now. Um, yeah, to be honest, you do feel like they are in a bit of trouble, don't you? Um, in 23rd position, 8 points behind Reading, with a game in hand. Uh, last three games kind of killed them after going on a great run. Barnsley, um, 33 points, 23 points, 6 points behind Reading, with a game in hand. In better form than uh, Derby. I can see them picking up the win here and be massive. Bring them right back into it. I'm going to say 1-0 to Barnsley. Moving on then to Hull against West Brom. And this is another interesting one. Hull obviously a 3-0 win against Peterborough uh, last time. And that obviously came out of the blue. Because previously they looked um, relatively um, poor recently. Um, uh, since the new manager came in really. And um, West Brom, um, yeah, there's not much to say about that. Um, it's... Yeah, it's just been an absolute shambles um, since and before Steve Bruce took charge. Um, they desperately need something to turn around, but I just can see this being a drab nil-nil because it's kind of befitting of the way they're going at the moment. Moving on then to Middlesbrough against Luton at the Riverside. Um, Middlesbrough, um, yeah, obviously losing 3-2 last time that to Barnsley, which was a really disappointing result, but I think they're kind of more than made up for that. Uh, with a victory over Tottenham. Um, and, you know, they're still in and around the playoff race. It will be tough for them to get into it, I think, just because the competition is so stiff in and around that area of the table. Um, but, you know, still, um, gets the loose side who are in the playoffs and really over-delivering. But, yeah, I just feel like the home advantage could be crucial for Borough here. I'm going to say 2-0 uh, home win, but this is a massive game. Moving on then to Preston against Bournemouth. Um... Preston, um, yeah, they come into this one. I think, I mean, like, obviously they had that really great run when Nio first came in, but they kind of seem to just fall off a bit recently. Um, and against the Bournemouth side that have won three in a row, um, and yeah, they're looking really, really solid. Um, so yeah, you definitely back them here. And you know, they're pretty much promoted now. Preston pretty much mid-table. Um, but yeah, I do fancy Bournemouth win here. I'm going to say 1-0. Uh, Moving on then to Loftus Road, and this is a big game for QPR, um, as they look to really get a win, just to you know, ease worries that they may drop out of the playoff positions. Against Cardiff at home, it's a game which they really should be winning. Um, Steve Morrison obviously got a new contract at Cardiff this week in 80s. They're in no danger of relegation really now. Um, they can kind of relax for the rest of the season. Um, and QPR, you know, they're still what to be done, definitely. 
Um, and yeah, I think they do need to win this one. I think they will win it. I'm going to think it will be close, but I'm going to say 1 0. Moving on then to the Select Car Leasing Stadium, and Reading take on Millwall. And yeah, um, Blackpool thrashed Reading last week, I think it's fair to say 4 1. After an uplifting start for Paul Lift, it kind of went back to the old Reading very quickly. And it's not great timing when you look at Millwall's recent round of form. Last four games, 1 1 1 1. Um, so yeah, Millwall, could it be, is it too late for a playoff push? You never know. Um, I think it probably is, but yeah, well, you never know. Um, but yeah, I do fancy them to get the win over Reading here. And if Barnsley win, that could make the relegation battle interesting again. Moving on then to Stoke, who take on Barn Blackpool, sorry, at um, at the Bet365 Stadium. And Stoke now, they've lost three in a row in all comps and drawn two for that, so winless in five against the Blackpool side, who obviously thrashed Reading last night. Before that, their form hasn't been great, so hopefully that'll be a turning point for them. But I think Stoke, um, although Blackpool were impressive last time out, I think they, Stoke will see this as an opportunity uh, to turn their form around slightly, um, and I think they will do here. I think it will be a close game, tight one, but I'm going to say a 1-0 win. Um, moving on then to Swansea taking on uh, Coventry at Liberty Stadium and Swansea um, yeah it was a drag game against West Brom that one let's be honest um, but you know it's a win and that's all that matters um, against the Coventry side that comes this one on a decent run of form as well um, so yeah this is a game which both teams will really want to kick on Coventry you know still have a shot at the playoffs uh, Swansea kind of mid-table now really for the rest of the season um, but yeah I think this will be a 1-1 draw um, but yeah it could be a good game moving on then to uh, Monday's FA Cup game between two teams who are playing a championship game on Friday, uh, and that's Nottingham Forest and Huddersfield. Um, Huddersfield, of course, on a great run of form. Forest on a great run of form. Um, but yeah, I think for me, this game will be decided on who um, prioritizes his rock, because obviously both are in a battle to get in and around the playoffs. So, um, do teams put in a uh, stronger team here? Doubt it. But you know, you are one game from Wembley, so you never know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say a draw, and luck of the pens, I'll say Huddersfield will advance the course finals. But anyway guys, that's it for you. Thanks for watching the channel. So like, share, subscribe, your thoughts, comments, down below. If you want to listen to things, subscribe for daily football news, and subscribe to the channel on the screen, and that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace.